Welcome to another Beacon demonstration video. Today we'll be looking at the Android PDT stock taking as part of a series of videos covering the Android PDT. So first thing you want to do is with this Android PDT device, you want to perform a synchronization, which we've covered in one of our previous videos. So if you click on the link in the show notes, or if you search up the Android PDT synchronization, you'll be able to find that. So very important to cover that first, just so you've got the latest information on the PDT. So once we've performed that, now with your PDT in your hand there, there is an option you can see on there that says stock take. So we want to touch on that and it will take us to this screen here and you can see up the very top half of the screen it has three different options to select from you've got supplier group and subgroup so those are the three different ways you can restrict on the type of items you want to do in your stock take so the very first one supplier so this only lets you select a specific supplier and the items that are the default ones linked to that supplier the second one is stock group so that's the second level in the stock hierarchy there so that's everything in the category of you've got fuel you've got shop items and so forth the subgroup is the third parameter option there and you can see it's more specific with those same categories but you can see we've got a lot more options to select from so that would be probably better for a more specific kind of stock take but in this case for what i'm going to do i'm just going to perform a stock take with the group option the stock group and instead of saying from the very first group to the very last group i'm going to actually make it very specific and say just group number 41 to 41 my groceries once I'm ready to begin the stock take, I touch the option that says done on the screen there. So I touch done. And you can see now this screen here is where it's ready to actually start scanning the items in the stock. So I want to take the PDT. I want to go to the shop floor and I'm ready to start scanning my items. So on your PDT, usually there's a button there for scanning or sometimes there, if you have a model that has like a trigger, you can squeeze that to perform the scan. So with your item in hand, let's scan it. So it comes up and it has recognized the item, which is great. You've got the option to nominate your cartons if you have units per carton set up or just straight away the units on there. So I'll actually go ahead and nominate. So let's say I have five of these on my shop floor. I also have the option there to do labels. I'll cover that in again in a moment there, but I'm happy with that count for now. So five items, press the update button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen there. So update, it takes me back to the screen again. So I'm ready to scan the next item, grab the next item on the shop floor, scan it. Once again, it's recognized the item. And once again, how many units would I like? Okay, I'm gonna say six this time. I'm gonna press update again. Third item I'm counting, this will be my last one. So I'll scan it, comes up, it's recognized the item. I'm gonna say, let's say seven for this one on the shop floor. Now, whilst I'm here, I'll just run through the example of adding a label. So let's say my first two items had labels, but this third one doesn't have a shelf label. I would like to create a label for it. So you tap on where it says label and it highlights the zero. I'm gonna say I need just one shelf label for now. So I'm gonna tap the one and I'm gonna press the little green arrow in the bottom right hand corner. But now I'm actually ready to update not only the count, but also the label. So I'm gonna hit update. Now, let's say before I finish the stock take, I'll go out to the back and check my shelves. And oh, look, I've actually found more of this same item. One of the items I have in the back as well in storage. So I'm gonna add that to the stock take. So I'm just gonna scan it and it's recognized the item again and this time i'm going to say i had seven previously let's say i found five more out the back so i'm going to say five and we're going to hit update now it'll come up with this prompt on the screen and it will say do you want to add to or replace the count so if you would like to add to the count so when i had seven before i have five now additionally so that's 12 in total i would touch the first option yes add. the second one there is to replace the count so if you perhaps made a mistake with the first time and you miscounted the first item or just any item and you want to replace the count this option allows you to replace place the original figure that you typed in there with a new figure. So I do want to pick that first option. So I'm going to go yes add. Great. Now I'm ready to complete my stock take. So I'm going to press the complete option on the screen there. So complete. Now it does come up with this summary window to let you know that you did your stock take from group 41 to 41. And these are the items that you've counted. And you can see I've got all three items I counted, including the item I counted in two different batches and it came to a total of 12. So that's perfect. I'm going to touch the OK option on there. So it does take you back to the stock take screen in case you would like to start another stock take. I don't. So I'm just going to click on the option that says sync PDT. So this is a quick shortcut just to get straight to synchronizing it to the back office. That's what I want. So I'm going to press sync PDT. Now it options again. It asks how you want to synchronize. I'm going to go Wi-Fi sync. And in the back office here, I'm going to go to synchronize. This is now going to begin our synchronize any moment now. So we'll let this run through. So whilst we're performing our synchronization, it's syncing the information, including the label and the stock items that we've counted. So once I'm done, I can now hit the exit sync option on the PDT. I can either continue stock taking on the shop floor, or I can just complete the stock take here on the back office. 
So in back office now, you'll see that if I want to look at the stock take, I can access it through this little shortcut up the top here, PDT stock take. So I click on it. So going from the left to the right, you can see the top three items are the ones that we've counted. Everything else below it says not counted under that column there. We've counted six for that first item, 12 for the second one and five for the other one. You can see at the moment, I actually don't have any stock on hand for this item. So this is great for me to start with. And also just moving further along besides the average costs, the cost price, the variances, we've also got the timestamps there. So it thinks that I've counted these items at this time. Now I'm gonna show you how do we add a second stock take to this existing stock take with the PDT. So let's say I've already performed that synchronize I did a few minutes ago. I'm going to go ahead on the back office here and I'm going to say cancel for now. I'm going to cancel out of the stock take for now. Now let's say I found a third batch of items somewhere out on the shop floor that I didn't count the first two times. So let's say that same item before. I'm going to go back to my PDT. So on my PDT screen here, I'm going to go back to start a stock take again. I'm going to pick the same parameters. I'm going to say once again, groceries to groceries. I'm going to go done. I'm going to scan that same item that I counted previously in two other batches. So where we had a total of 12 before, I'm going to say I found 10 more units. I'm going to hit update and I'm going to say complete again. It's going to come up with a summary again to say these are the items you've counted. Hit OK and I'm going to hit sync PDT again. Wi-Fi sync. Okay, so when we go to synchronize it, you'll notice it comes up with this prompt and says a previous stock take already exists. What would I like to do? So I have the options to delete that previous stock take if it was perhaps a mistake or an old one that I've since abandoned. I've got the option to add to an existing count. So that's the one I'm going to come back to. I've also got a third option there, which is replace. So if I want to replace the count, so perhaps if the first stock take I did was not correct and I've corrected it now, I can replace any existing counts. The fourth option there is to cancel. So if you're not sure and you want to kind of come back to this later, press cancel and it will let you get out of the screen here. Now I do want to add to my existing count. So I'm going to hit add to on your back office screen there. So it's just adding that item on now to the existing stock take I had done previously. Okay. Once it's completed, I'm going to hit exit and I'm going to go back to my option in here that says PDT stock take. You can see now the count has actually changed for the second item in the list. Previously we had 12, now you can see it's increased to 22. And if you go further along to the right hand side, you can see exactly why. We had a count, first count was for six units, 12 units and five units at that time. You can see the second timestamp is now showing that five minutes later we had 10 extra items counted to that. That's why now you can see the stock on hand has increased from 12 to 22. So from there, I have the ability, like always, to edit my stock take with the back office. So if I found more, I could always introduce that just by typing in the amount here. I also have the option, as always, to produce my variance report or my uncounted item report or print the current view. So whilst we're doing this stock take, you'll notice that Inbox Processor and Megalink have also paused during this time. So no communication, no packets have come in from the point of sale or from head office. It's not until we complete the stock take that they'll then resume communication and process any packets that are outstanding. So I'm going to go ahead and complete my stock take now and press update. So I press update and it says this will update the stock on hand. It's not reversible. Do I wish to continue? Yes, I do. So I want to press update. And you can also see now my final stock take variance report generates on the screen there showing a total of the items we've counted and any file stock on hand we had previous to that and the variance. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and close that off. You can save it or print it if you'd like. And just to finally show you, if I go to stock maintenance up the top, if I was to look up that same item I had previously, you can see on the screen there, my stock on hand now correctly says I have 22 and you'll find that the same thing happens for the other items as well. But that is as simple as how you perform a stock take with the Android PDT. Thanks for watching our video on how to perform a stock take with the Android PDT. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at support at beaconsoftware.com.au.